All right, getting a bit of a late start this morning. Spent a couple hours chasing speckled trout in a big lake. Only caught a couple. I'm gonna head back over there. Once the sun gets a little high and that water warms up just a little bit, but right now I'm coming to the marsh. Got a good hard falling tide and definitely want to see what I can catch. All right, I'm starting with the crab boil colored Pro's Choice soft stick bait. I got that rigged on a 1 8 ounce death grip jig head. I'm starting in a little ditch. It's draining a pond back here and the water coming out of this pond is just really pretty. Now, unfortunately, that sun hasn't been up long enough to really warm that pond. And of course, because it's so shallow, it got cold overnight. So that pond right now is 57, or at least the water coming out of the pond is 57.6 degrees. That'll change as the day moves on. That sun is up in the sky, as you can see. So that pond's getting warmer every second. Water's absolutely gorgeous. I like this crab boil in pretty water. Water's super low, as you can tell. It's falling, but it's already really low. Kind of limiting where I can fish, but I know when I find them, they're gonna be stacked up. There's a fish. There's a fish. Feeling like a red. Looking like a bass. Or a speckled trout. I think it's a speckled trout, believe it or not. And it sure is. It's a keeper at that. Nice fish. Trout fishing is picking up. Love to see these in the marsh. No doubt on my pro's choice soft stick bait. It's one of the things I just love about marsh, marsh fishing. Ooh, oh shoot, I missed that one. <laughs> You know, I'm back here targeting bass, redfish, maybe flounder, and I get a trout. What hit me just there? I don't know. Could have been another trout. There's one. There's one. That hit like a trout for sure. For sure. Oh yeah, nice trout, nice trout. All right, all right, love to see that. <laughs> oh goodness, he smacked it. He smacked it. Dude, you got it too deep. Sorry, you broke my bait, but that's all right. I got plenty. All right, let's see if they got any more in this little bin. I'd be surprised if there are a bunch of trout in here. This is just a little ditch. As hard as those two hit though, it felt like they definitely had some buddies. They were trying to get to the bait before them, but you never know. Make three or four casts, so we don't get anything, we'll move on. Okay, now I'm over where I caught those trout, and it's 7.2 feet right here. That explains why those fish were there. There's another bend up ahead, probably has some depth in there too. Might have some more trout. What an absolutely beautiful day. Air temp right now is probably mid 50s. It's getting a little warm, actually. I'm gonna take this coat off soon, but very little wind, just a gorgeous day. Got some really pretty weather in March. Definitely one of my favorite months. Only bad thing with March, it's typically windy. Today is not, but we're definitely gonna have more windy days than calm days in March, that's for sure. All right, I'm in this other bend. It's not as impressive as I thought. It's only three and a half to four and a half feet deep. No bites in it, but it's the end of the line for us. This is a really short ditch that drains this pond here, but that water is getting warmer in that pond. It's 58 degrees now. Come back here in an hour or two, it'll definitely be in the 60s. End of the day, it might be in the 70s. Warms up that quickly. All right, no other bites. Is that because there's no other fish in here or they don't want what I'm throwing? Who knows? But I'm gonna throw the bait of this fall and winter. New Year's Eve H&H &H Cockahoe, quarter ounce death grip jig head. The way the last few months have gone, if I don't catch anything on this, there's just not feeding fish in here. That's how good this bait has been. There's a fish. Ooh. All right, my chest camera died as soon as I set the hook. <laughs> but that said, New Year's Eve, nice bass. Literally the exact same area we caught the, those speckled trout in. Just amazing. Just love it. Just love it. Oh, he was hooked deep too. Ow. 
New Year's Eve. That fish was nice enough to hold on to my bait for a minute. I never felt him hit at all. Just saw my line running. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, I got a bad hook set. My drag was way too loose. I'm not sure what that was, to be honest. Kind of felt like a redfish. He hit really hard and ran really fast. All right, we're gonna mosey. Go find a different area, find some more fish. All right, I shed the heavy winter stuff. Whew, feels a lot better. Air temperature is getting nice and warm. And I've come into a, a more major bayou than what I just left. I like fishing these major bayous when this water's really low like this. It's where those fish get stacked up. Now I'm sticking with this crab ball colored pro's choice soft stick bait. I've got this rigged on an eighth ounce death grip. May not be quite enough for this bayou. Right here is seven feet deep and a tide's really, really ripping. Really ripping out. So I might have to change that to a quarter ounce. We'll see. All right, I'm having trouble fishing this well because of how light that jig head is. This New Year's Eve is on a quarter ounce. Let's see if that makes a difference. There's a fish. There's a fish. Just had to get down to him. Holy cow, that is a giant, a giant, a giant marsh bass. Good night. <laughs> Look at this fish. Oh, he's barely hooked. You may not get to see him. He's barely got this hook in the corner of his mouth. Let's see. Oh, we got him. We got him. Look how barely hooked this guy was. But that's a big marsh bass, man. That's a big fish. I'm gonna let go of my bait. Just had to get down to him. Man, it's a beautiful fish. Love to see it, love to see it. I'm guessing that fish is pushing three, which is a big marsh bass. That's a really big fish. Go ahead, dude. Thanks for the fight. I appreciate it. This tide is really ripping. Not that I'm complaining. I like a fast moving tide much more than a dead tide. Sometimes it can move too hard. Today it's borderline too hard, but even still, give me that any day over a dead tide. There's a fish. Oh, please. I want to see what you are. I think you're a bass or a red or a speckled trout. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, let's spy lock here. All right, that's interesting. A trout in another deep area, relatively deep, six and a half feet where the boat is, probably a little deeper where that fish was, right here in the bend of a bayou. Let's see if there are others. All right, I've gotten super hard hits. Fish that, I mean, smacked it and spit it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you God damn you. So as much as I like that New Year's Eve for fishing fairly shallow water in the marsh, I really prefer this limbo slice for deep jigging. Now this isn't terribly deep water, but let's give it a try and see if it gets those fish to commit rather than just hitting it. So limbo slice matrix shad, of course. I've still got it on this quarter ounce death grip jig head. And I've repositioned myself up current of where I'm getting these bites. I really like fishing against the current when I'm deep jigging. I like that tail just flapping in the current with the bait kind of just holding still. I just kind of pick it up and put it down. Ooh, there's a fish. Another trout. Look at this guy. Whew. Hit me right onto the boat. Right under the boat. That's a beautiful trout. It's so nice. So nice to see these guys back in the marsh. That's a good fish, too. You hooked well, bro. All right, the switch to a limbo was good, at least for that fish. I was kind of up here pulling away from that area where we're getting bites, so I could cast into it. He hit me right under the boat. An absolute tattoo. All right, can't seem to get these fish dialed in. Just random bites and throwing back into the same areas and not getting bites. So I'm gonna try this cork before we leave. It's like eight feet deep where I'm throwing. Not exactly conventional to throw a cork in there, but it's been many times when those fish are acting ridiculous like they are now. You can come in with a cork and get them turned on, 
get them coming up from where they are they can definitely hear the popping of that cork no question come up to check it out and see that shrimp dangling below it they have to hit it yep there's one there's one that's a keeper trout all right welcome to the team buddy welcome to the team on that tko Ooh, fell right out happy to have you some really nice trout they're all 14 to 16 inches which is you know it's not bad good solid keepers throw right back where i was see if we can attract another one there's one there he is good takedown he ain't come up at all. He has not come up at all. Feels like a good trout. Just stay on there, buddy. Give you a boat ride. Oh yeah, good trout. Real good trout. That's about an 18 incher there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. He was hooked super well at that TKO. Now, I don't like eating fish this size. I like to let him go. This one I'm gonna put a tag in. All right, we got a tag in this dude. If you catch him, just please report him. Keep him and eat him if you want, or even better yet, let him go. Now I know it's kind of counterintuitive throwing this Versamax knocker over that much water, but I just gotta tell you, <laughs> so many times I've seen this happen. It just works. Doesn't mean we're gonna sit here and catch a limit. In fact, I'm sure we're not. I don't think there's just a million fish in these marshes quite yet, although they're coming more and more every day. But when you're getting bites deep and it's real sporadic, try that cork before you leave. Of course, the great thing with this Versamax, like all Versamax, you can adjust your leader length so easily. I don't have mine terribly long right now. I'm gonna say about three feet, but I could go down to four or five feet easily. All right, I've satisfied my curiosity. So now I'm gonna move on and see where else I can find them. Patrol back the way we came. Maybe we'll bump into another on the way, definitely within the realm of possibilities, the way these fish are hitting. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I love this deep water speckled trout bite in the springtime. It's always good in the spring, but it typically is kind of an April and May deal. I've seen it happen as early as March 1st. Last year it happened in March, and obviously this year it's happening in March. I wasn't really expecting to do this today, but this is what the fish were doing, and I love doing this. It is a very, very fun way to fish. Those speckled trout, when they're fired up, man, do they hit hard. You know, specks aren't known for their fighting ability, but boy, they sure do hit hard. And really, I think they have underrated fighting ability, to be honest. I mean, you catch a 12-inch speckled trout, yeah, he's not going to put up much of a fight. You catch a three-plus pounder, he will let you know what he thinks about the situation, that's for sure. Now we just got to find some more bends and bayous. Oh, camera died again. Camera died again, right as I set the hook. I want to see what this is. Feeling like a, I don't, I'm not even guessing. Feeling like a red, I was going to say, but I guessed that earlier and I was wrong. This feels like a red though. Oh yeah, it's a red. It's a red. It's a good red. Good keeper red. That's twice today I set the hook and my chest cam battery died right after I set the hook. But who cares? We got the fish in. It's about an 18 inch redfish. And that means we got a marsh slam today. Ooh, there's a fish. Another trout, another trout. Nope, redfish, redfish. It's funny how certain colors attract certain fish. Redfish love this limbo slice, just like speckled trout. I don't catch nearly as many bass on this color as I do the other two. We're gonna measure this guy, tag him and let him go. All right, we'll get this guy back. Well, he's nice and healthy. There you go. Ooh, there's a fish. That feels like another red. 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> that last one we caught was 17 inches. This one's not 17 inches. I haven't laid eyes on him yet, but I'm guessing he's uh, 22, 23. I've got this 12 pound test leader, so I'm not gonna horse him. So beautiful, man, I love these fish. So beautiful. He's a definite netter. Let's go get the net. Just trying to hide under the boat. I don't blame him. Ah, he's bigger than I thought. He's about 25. Yep, about 25, I think. I'll tell you this, I can't pick him up. This fish is spunky. Spunky! Come on, Spunky. Ah, he might be a 27. Ah, he's pretty big. He's about done. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on with your frisky self. Wow. All right. That's a good redfish there. We're gonna put a tag in him too. You just sit tight here in the shade, okay? I'll be right back. Don't take my ride, okay? All right, come on, big fella. Get your wits about you. Come on. Come on. I'm not letting you go till you swim off. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There you go, good boy. I'll tell you what, today is the day of the smack hits. These fish are not being subtle, my goodness. You know, fall is my favorite fishing season. But spring is a close second, and these fish are realizing spring is essentially here. There's a fish. Not sure what he is. Might be a trout. Yes, it is a trout. Oh, there he goes. I switched back to my crab boil, pro's choice, soft stick bait. The trout definitely like this thing. I would have let him go anyway, but it'd be nice to put a tag in him. Now that may have been the first fish all day, certainly the first trout all day that was just there. I did not feel him hit. Oh, there's another one. That felt like a trout hit. Yep, sure is. All right. All right. That's, oh, he threw my bait off. There goes my crab boil. Ooh, man, look how deep, look how deep. You really wanted that, didn't you? I was gonna let you go, but I can't now. Cause you're gonna be a bloody mess by the time I get this out. Look at that, think he's not bloody? I tell you what, they love this bait. These speckled trout love this bait. I don't know what's in this water. That makes them wanna hit this, but man, they love it. And you see the bait just tore, that death grip held. Of course, that bait's a whole lot longer than that hook shank, which I like, because it gives it a ton of action. Now you heard me in a recent video talking about this Akuma Hakai. Now, apparently they're pretty tough to get a hold of. <laughs> they're actually, oh goodness. Oh, I missed him. Good gracious, did he smack it. Oh. <laughs> They're actually easier to find than left-handed models, which of course is what I fish, even though I'm right-handed. Man, I want that fish back. <laughs> but I like the reel so much, I ordered another one. This is actually my second one. I just got it this week. I've got a team with this Akuma tournament concept rod. I've been talking about going down to some lighter rods to team with my lighter line that I've been fishing lately. And this, this is a step toward that. This is a, a medium rod. I can tell you it's super light, especially team with this Akai. This is the first day I'm fishing it. So far, I'm a fan. I mean, the sensitivity has been fantastic. Either that or these fish are just going crazy. There he is. Another trout, another trout. All right. Look how deep these fish are hitting this bait. Look at this. I mean, I got tapped, set the hook instantly, and he's got it way down in his gills again, just like the last one. I'm gonna try and see if I can not kill this one, because I'd like to let him go. Man, what an absolutely awesome day. The seasons are definitely changing, and I feel like I kind of had a front row seat today to witness it all. 
just a glorious, glorious day here in the marshes of South Louisiana. Fishing out here this time of year is just good for the soul. Get out and do it. If you get a moment, if you get some time, don't let this season pass you by. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. And I guarantee you it's springtime, so the fish will be biting. <laughs>